Uh, and the Slayer Helm will now offer the same protection against Lizard and... Okay, so I just don't need this anymore? Yes? Nice. Yeah, let's collect... Uh, collect resources. 102 seed nests. That's going to be some nice seeds. 14,000 of those. Bloody hell. Right, let's go go see what we get in these nests. Okay, and after just using those four eggs, these are the last things I'm getting from the birds' nests. Uh, right, orange gets dropped. Uh, redwood tree seed, spirit seed, palm, dragon fruit. They get dropped. Uh, they get dropped. They get dropped. They stay. They stay. But yeah, not bad. So yeah, this uh, this Conar drop table is quite something. 181 dragon arrow tips from a gargoyle. Uh you know, it's not the most useful thing I could have got, but I'm not going to complain about it. I'm... Hey, guess what? I missed a level again. 92 Slayer. That isn't anything special, but it does mean that I am one level off being able to kill uh, Smoke Devils, which means I can get my Occult Necklace. So yeah, 677k XP to go. That is quite a ways... Hey look, my first Dispori seed, nice. I've been going to the farming guild a lot recently, so I decided it's probably worth doing this, so yeah, I'm just gonna boost with the T and make myself the better jewelry box. There we go, nice. Unlimited teleports, feels good man. And while I'm here and I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna just make the display case, because I've got a few jars that I can put in there. There we go, let's go collect my jars. So yeah, I only have two jars, but here is the Kraken one. I quite like it, it looks pretty funky, but uh, the the Guardians one looks cooler in my opinion. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep this one going unless I get a new one. Alright, so I just got my first seed pack. I don't know what I can really get from this, but I think I can just spam click it. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, nice. Snapegrass seeds. That's all I really wanted, I think. Since I finished off my champion scroll at the... Goblins, uh, there's no need for me to go back to Hill Giant, so there's no need to hold these keys until I get the Hill Giant Champion Scroll. So I'm just gonna go use them all and see and see what I get. I haven't killed Obor in a long time, so this is gonna be interesting. But I'm fairly sure you can just entangle him and then range him. I, I think, hopefully. And here is 85 farming, a level that is significantly bigger now that the farming guild has been released, since I can now get into the high tier of it, which is gonna be really nice and I can also get the harder contracts now as well cool oh I just just got a come did a contract and I got myself a uh, a Celestris seed that's gonna be pretty good it's gonna get me the uh, achievement diary anyway first a spory kill what are we gonna get 12,000 geez that's a lot of farming XP a chronos seed and watermelon seeds the chronos speeds the it, things grow faster one I think that would be it's pretty nice I guess Sadly, I just got the Greenman's Ale step. This is this is a step I can do, but that like for it to be viable, I'd need to go do trouble brewing. And yeah, nah, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. I'm not gonna drop it because it's something I can do, but yeah, it's not gonna get completed anytime soon. Continuing on from the uh, Vettian task I got last episode, I just got a Callisto task. Yeah, again, it's another boss I've never really killed, so I'm probably just gonna go with three. Uh, but yeah, I can just look up a guide and it'll show me what to do and stuff. I think you can save spot it fairly easily. But yeah, let's, let's just go with three. Uh, I've just realized that now I've got Architectural Alliance completed, I don't need a, a portal to uh, Karen, so I'm going to change it to be to Anakal. So uh, yeah, actually no, let's, uh, let's, go, uh, let's go bank my runes before I go. That sounds like a good idea. What a nice motivational sight. Oh, oh, hang on. There's the PK's still here. I was just going to comment about the fact that there's the loot pile there, but the PK is still... Uh, I've got... I have literally nothing on me. You're just wasting your time, dude. 
Oh, at least he gave me the smiley face, I suppose. Uh, enjoy the bones, my dude. So I uh, I managed to set him up, but the poison spider got me, so I'm poisoned. Uh, so I'm about to die anyway. Oh, oh, another PK. Dude, there's... I just... I just want to kill the bear. I just want to kill the bear. I swear the only reason this is vaguely viable is because of uh, rigor. But what are we going to get? 100 super compost? Uh, it's okay, I guess. But yeah, like, this is really inaccurate. And if it wasn't for rigor, I would, like, I would not be hitting anything. But yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty AFK apart from the whole, you know, PK is every two seconds thing. I ran out of ammo, so I thought I, you know, I'd, I would improvise, but I feel like, I feel like maybe this uh, is not a viable strategy. You know, just maybe. Right, and that is the third and final kill. Seventeen and a half k, not too bad. But yeah, so after after I got killed twice just trying to get here, I I didn't see a, a like any more PKs, like, there was there was just those two, so yeah, but didn't get anything too good, I'm not a huge fan of Callisto, there's too many PKs, and it's just, it's slow, and, but yeah, uh, next task, I guess. Okay, so I did my 380th task with Konar to get extra points, and I managed to get myself five brimstone keys, um, which essentially is five drops on Konar's table, which is pretty lucky for like 230 gargoyles. But yeah, let's see. I think I can just click to unlock, so let's see what we're going to get. I don't want any of the mystic pieces. What's that? Snap. It's not going to complain about that. Telestra seeds, also pretty good. 400 coal, can't complain. 400 iron, and even more coal. So essentially, I just got myself like 1600 cannonballs there once I get around to them. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I got a Longbone and I got a Xerix Talisman at the start of this uh, trip, and I was told, yeah, it's not too bad, at least it's not a curved bone, and, uh, hmm, oofed, I, I feel like that is the same drop rate as a Dragon Warhammer, and I'm kind of scared to check. Oh shit, we got it. Oh, we have the bottomless compost bucket. Oh, this is nice. Essentially, this doubles the effectiveness of my uh, the amount of compost that I have. I get two of these. Also, Iazoras. No, it's Atus that actually increase. I don't. I still think I've not had any Atus seeds, which is kind of upsetting. Um, but yeah, bottomless compost bucket. Nice. Let's go fill uh this up. I can literally do it here. I think. Let me just check if I. Draw some and fill this. Hey, nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, untrade. <laughs> Why would I be worried about making it untradeable? Cool. Yeah. So that's the thing now. I'm gonna have to fill that up. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> I may have died at shamans, and I may have had my hell puppy with me, because I thought, you know what? Let's. I don't normally take my pets anywhere, but. I feel like it can give me some good luck, and uh, I can't remember if I insured it. Oh, thank goodness I did. Um, how much does it cost? A mil? Yeah, nah, it's just staying there. Okay, so Duradel decided to set me some drakes. I'm sorry if my voice sounds really weird. I don't know if it actually is, but it sounds really bad for me right now. But I am a little bit ill, you can probably tell. Yeah, I just got set drakes. I've never been set these before, but I can remember in a... Uh, in an update log a few days ago that they made it so you can just cat tank it with uh, dragon fire protection which makes it a bit easier I know you guys have probably already seen it at this point but I've gotta say this death animation is genuinely probably one of the coolest death animations for just a regular regular monster like look at this shit it goes boom that's cool as fuck also these uh, Drake bones give 80 XP per now. It's crazy. All right, I didn't get to record it at the time because of multiple reasons, but I just got 88 farming, and when I was looking at what that could get me, I realized I can boost for this. I could have done it last level as well. I didn't realize, but there we go, plus three, and that lets me plant a redwood tree. That is so tiny. Jesus Christ, look at that. 
Hey, that is quite a big level. 85 Herblore. Uh, I can make Zamorak mixes. That, of course, is not why it is a big level. It's a big level because I can now plus 5 boost to 90 to make super combat potions. Which is, is, a, pretty, is, a, pretty, is a pretty pretty is a pretty good thing. Um, uh, super combat potions will come in handy in a lot of places. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to really do them now because... I have a lot of herb law supplies. I don't know if I actually do have enough to get to 86, but if I can get to 86, that'll make everything a whole lot easier because I could just use a botanical pie uh, and not have to worry about stews, which are a pain in the dick. That is 300 KC at Zora. The reason I'm back here is because I want to try and get myself the uh, toxic trident for my Kraken task. 88 crafting. Nice. So my friend told me about this way that you can uh, get yourself 100 pieces of 8 without really playing the game, so I just did that, and now I can buy myself some stuff. Right, I just did a Jad task, and this is actually going to be the first time I've ever turned in a fire cape for a pet chance. Uh, right, let's see. What are we going to get? Uh, you're not lucky. Okay, so my first lot of beer didn't uh, ferment correctly, so... Let's see, is this going to be good? Oh, nice, it's mature. Cool, right. Uh, so I think I, I think I turn the valve, right? Then hopefully this doesn't drain it. Yeah, there we go. Now I can collect it, and sweet. That is some mature agreement. Mature agreements ale. Let's go take it to Phalo. Let's see what Phalo is going to give us for our efforts. Oh, great, a triple step. At least they're all easy. Right, so, look, I finally managed to finish a master, master casket on this account. It's been so long since I've been able to do this. Let's see, what are we going to get? Is it going to be anything good? <laughs> uh, I got my hopes up way too high. I forgot what these are like. Oh, AE9 farming while doing this farm run. Didn't even notice that was coming. Right, and we are coming up on a really big level here. We are 600 XP away from 99 strength. I wanted to do this in like a special place and celebrate it properly, but it's like it's a, it's a really common one, and I can't be bothered. I kind of just want to keep doing Slayer, and I don't want to stop. So yeah, I'm just gonna bust it out during this gargoyle task. Let's see. When are we going to hit it? We've got to be close now, yeah? Uh, there we go. 99 strength. The big, big fireworks going on right there. Feels good, man. Uh, I think I'm going to go on to training attack and uh, then defense. But first, let's go get the cape. Quick stop off to do the hard clue. And hey, nice. Vandos top, 400k clue. Can't complain. Now, let's go get the cape so while i came to get the cape i thought you know what let's let's dress up as a berserker because i can i guess that's the only real reason but yeah let's get this cape i think i just talked to the guy uh yeah there we go right let's see i i do like this cape it's, it's really common but like it's it's pretty cool first 99 on the account so and i think it looks pretty cool too so okay so i think it's uh time to train some prayer let's hope i don't get pk'd first death i didn't lose anything though i managed to get all my bones on the altar first i wasn't recording because i wasn't expecting to get anything but yeah i just got a torax plate as you can see in my inventory Oh, and second item of the uh, of the Barrows runs, I guess. Varex plate skirt, another duplicate, but hey, it's, at least it's not like a completely worthless one. So yeah, the reason I came to Barrows was I had a Barrows task, but there we go, that is that completed. 398 tasks, almost 400. Didn't get anything in the last chest, feels bad, man. Second mud battle staff on the account. And there's a B-ring as well. I wasn't able to record it at the time because everything was attacking me, but yeah. B-ring number three, I think this is. So yeah, I was just doing my Dagonoth task at DK's, and once again, a guy came and uh, crashed me. I swear this happens, like, constantly. Like, every time I come to DK's, I get crashed. I, I died before, and I'm not even going to be able to take all my stuff back, but yeah, screw that guy. 
there it is. There is the 400th task in a row. Oh, hang on. Yeah, 400. Sorry, I thought I said 450. But yeah, that was 400 tasks in a row. Feels pretty good, man. Let's head over to Duradel and get a new one. Uh, again, getting pretty close to 93 Slayer now. I'm excited for the Occult. Okay, so I just got a Greater Demons task, which means I'm going to go and kill some Scotizo. I have a lot of totems, so this is going to be a lot of clues. I am going to be doing every clue after I've finished, like after every Scotizo kill, but I'm probably only going to show the good rewards, or like, okay rewards, so yeah. Ooh, room place goes from the first kill from Scotizo, though that is pretty good. Let's go do this clue. All of those clue scrolls with nothing good, but hey, I got a black mask on my next cave horrors task. I think this is the third one I've had. I'm going to check KC in a second. Well, I haven't even got a chance to check KC, and there is a fourth one in the same task. It took me so long to get this first one, but then I've got two in the same task. Feels pretty good, man. I feel like there's been enough hard clues, but this is clue 150. 150k as well, not bad. And any second now, there we go, coming up on 90 to attack. Halfway there to 99. This is the first live com clip that I've done in a while. Uh, but yeah, once we kill this guy, we'll, we'll hit a pretty pretty big level. Uh, as long as, you know, we can actually like hit him. There we go. There we go, 93 slight. And I get a missed staff as well. Dude, imagine if that was a friggin' heart. <laughs> um... But yeah, I got a 93 Slayer, that means I, uh, <laughs> I can't believe that, that's really freaking cool. But yeah, 93 Slayer, that is the level I need for Smoke Devils, so after this task, I'm gonna head over to Duradel and hope that I get a Smoke Devil task, I don't know how common they are, uh, but I really want that Occult, dude. So I decided I actually did want to skip Necrules, I really want to try and get this task if I can, so uh, yeah, let's see. After skipping a lot of tasks, there we go, finally, 131 Smoke Devils. I I spent far too many points on this, I think, hang on, let's see, how many did I spend? I spent about 900 points. Ah, big rip, dude, big rip. I'm not really sure about how I'm meant to kill this boss, but let's, let's give it a try. I think you just hit it. Alright, so I just hit 100kc at Thermi, doing uh, this, whatever it's called, strategy, just... Going back to the house and getting your spec back. It's pretty fun. Uh, after like spending all those points, I looked at the drop rate and realized it's probably not worth 
like trying to grind for a task for it because it's not exactly a common drop. So I think I'm not going to bother skipping tasks again, but hopefully I do get another task shortly because I do quite like this task and I would really like the occult. So yeah, uh, come, big spec for the video. Ooh, not bad. This is going to be 150kc and basically the end of the task. I am going to kill him until I run out of uh, kills in the task, but chances are I'm not going to get anything. <sighs> Tinderbox, great. 